my family background really represents the diverse, rich stories and background of Black Americans, including their contributions to American history. Both of my parents are the descendants of Black American soldiers who fought in the Spanish-American War. And when the war ended in 1898, hundreds of Black Americans who were in the Philippines opted to stay uh, there rather than return home and suffer the racism and injustice in the United States. So these Black soldiers um, worked and met their wives and raised their families in the Philippines. My family, my children and I celebrate my culture and background in our everyday lives. Just something simple like music. When I was growing up, music was always playing in the background at home, especially jazz and so many of the great jazz vocalists and standards. My parents also regularly went to listen to live music. So I wanted to make sure that my children had the same level of exposure and appreciation for music. So they both started playing piano at a very early age and were taught jazz and the standards that I heard around the house growing up. And so every once in a while, I have them play for me. A lot of stuff was ingrained in me by my parents about Black pride, Black history. And I was always taught like, look, you come from the people who struggled and people who sacrificed and given, you know, including your own parents, right? They always thought with them to get you what you got and you might need to sacrifice for someone else. So I have a huge feeling of indebtedness um, to, to all the Black people who have come before me, meaning starting with my parents and my my family and older people, and people right in this firm, from uh, Tiffany Lee and the other people in our, in our firm, uh, Kellyanne Cartwright, and all the other Black folks who came before me. And I became a lawyer to help other people and to advise them. I do it in more of a corporate sense, but I think of justice, right? I think of like what's fair. Um, and to me, obviously, every, we should all have equal rights to things that we don't. Um, so to me, as a Black person, I always look for fairness, um, justice, equity, and, and still have a corny thing, but like DEI, literally diversity, equity, inclusion, right? How can we diversify things? How can we make sure everyone is equality? How can we make sure everyone's included? And I think that's the way we all need to look at things. I'm starting my third year as co-chair of the Black Affinity Group. And as co-chair of the Black Affinity Group, I primarily want the members to feel that they are part of a strong network of colleagues who collectively are vested in each other's professional success and positive experience at the firm. I hope we accomplish this um, in a number of ways, including partners being active mentors to associates, programming and activities that are focused on the development and retention of associates, and highlighting the achievements of those within the group, not only to recognize their efforts, but also to inform and inspire others. We're all trying to make uh, Holland and Knight a better place for um, black attorneys, but I think all attorneys, quite frankly, of, of color, different ethnic and religious persuasions to feel comfortable and have a safe place to work and to even network amongst each other on a, I'd say a professional and a personal place. Um, I, we like to say that we're a safe place, that people can talk about things um, and listen to each other's problems. Those could be professional, those could be social, those could be personal. And we want to make, you know, Holland and Knight a, a, a better place to work for, for Black attorneys in particular, but for all people, I think, of color and for all attorneys, so that we can all, I think, better share our experiences with others and better understand how our experiences are impacting others. Right now, our membership is 100 people, um, ranging from including equity partners, law clerks, senior partners, um, non-equity partners. So we have a robust affinity group. And we also have 41 associates in the Black Affinity Group that are paired with mentors. The more progress I see, the more that makes me feel good. And I would say that people keep working. You don't know what progress will happen in your lifetime. I did not think when I was a kid that we would ever have a black president. I thought I thought we would that would not be possible. So to see that makes me think 
legitimately is is a real hope um, for racial progress in our country and and within our fund. If I had to share some advice with um, youth that have big dreams, I would say that there are many paths to success and happiness. Be open to the opportunities and own your path. Um, strive to be and represent the best version of yourself. And oftentimes, um, if things seem unfair, they probably are. But know that so many people have overcome so much to achieve and make a difference. So I would just say to remain encouraged and remain focused. I would just implore everyone to be confident in what they say and, and be there as much of their authentic selves as they feel they can be. Because um, it's hard being two different people, one at work and one at home all the time.